welcome to another edition of My Kitchen. Hey folks, welcome back. Yes, Florida Jim here, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own margaritas from scratch today. That's right, we're not gonna be using that pre-mixed stuff that you buy in the grocery store where it says just add alcohol and ice or, or you go into the package store, it's got the pre-mixed stuff that says you know, just add ice. I mean, come on man, make your own man. It's, it's simple. The, uh, the basic margarita that everybody knows is just the plain old margarita. It, it's three ingredients. It's tequila, Triple sec or some kind of orange liqueur, or Grand Marnay or whatever, some kind of orange liqueur, but most people use triple sec and lime juice. That's it, okay? I mean, that, that's easy, right? But like when you go out to uh, restaurants and stuff, they get these signature drinks going. You got margaritas, but it ain't just these three things. They, they add their own things to it. So that's what I'm going to show you today. We're going to start with the base recipe, and then we're going to make it the Florida gym way. That's right, I'm going to show you how to make a Florida gym pineapple margarita. <laughs> yes! <laughs> How's that sound, huh? Maybe it would sound better if I was Hawaiian gym pineapple margarita, but hey, let's bring the pineapple over to Florida people, all right? It's more about, uh, it, it's more than just oranges over here, all right? So anyway, without further ado, let's get going on this uh, beautiful Florida gym margarita. All right, so the first thing I like to do uh, before I... Uh, start mixing the uh, liquor and everything. I like to salt the rim of the glass, okay? I always sit and salt the rim of my margaritas for myself. And every time I go to a restaurant or a bar and I order a margarita, they always ask me, do you want the rim salted? And I always think to myself, what kind of a three-headed freak would not want the salt, the, the, the rim salted on a margarita? I mean, I understand there's people that can't have salt in their diets, okay? so I. I Trust me, I get that. But if that was the case for me, I think it would be at the end of my uh, margarita drinking days. Oh. <laughs> All right. So here we go. The first thing I like to do is salt the rim. Now to salt the rim, I have this little this little fancy bowl right here, and I, I just put a little bit of lime juice on the bottom of that. Okay. And I just take this glass and I just kind of. Bring it around there. Get that good soak of lime juice. And then dip it in the bowl of salt. I got a bowl of salt. Just look right over here. You can see what the bowl of salt looks like. And there it is, folks. There is the salted rim. That is a sight to be seen. All right. So now, to mix the alcohol, I have a, a mixer here, some cheap mixer that I bought in the store one time. Um, I'd actually like to get a, a good one for you. All right, so we uh, add about four cubes of ice there, all right? That's just to chill the uh, liquor as you're mixing it, all right? Now this little cup thing that comes with your, uh, your, your bartender mixer, the small side is a half ounce and the big side is an ounce. I learned something new today. <laughs> All right, so you want one and a half ounces of tequila. A lot of times I just add uh, two ounces of tequila instead of the one and a half, but show you the actual uh, the actual recipe all right and then uh, a half ounce of triple sec which is your orange liqueur half ounce and you want one ounce of lime juice you can uh, obviously squeeze your own lime juice fresher if you want but in order to achieve an ounce of lime juice, you probably have to squeeze a whole, if not two whole, limes. So, I just buy the already squeezed lime juice. Alright, so that's the basic ingredients. Just get that up 
good. Pour that into our glass. And as you see, there's a lot remaining there that's empty, okay? That's because I'm going to make it the Florida gym way. This right here is a basic margarita. If you drank this, it would taste delicious, okay? But you make it the Florida gym way. And it's gonna be okay, so for the Florida gym pineapple margarita, we obviously add pineapple juice. Now I just pour it right in until the glass becomes full. It's probably gonna be about two to two and a half ounces of pineapple juice if you wanna measure it out. I for one don't measure it out because this glass, it, it comes out perfect for me, all right? And then to, to sparkle it up, add a little color to it, like a tequila sunrise or something like that, I just add a cap full of grenadine in there. It's just red uh, syrup you get at any package store. And I just splash it in there. And there you have it, folks. A Florida Gin Pineapple Margarita. Oh, I'm telling you, that's delicious. All right, man. Hey, thanks for watching, man. And I hope you learned something today, okay? Don't buy the pre-mixed stuff. I'm telling you, if you were to taste this right now, you would understand why you shouldn't buy the pre-mixed stuff. Mix it your own. Make it your own flavor. You can add mango juice. You can add orange juice. You can, you can add whatever you want, cranberry juice. Watermelon, they make watermelon margaritas these days anything man all right so this right here is the way i like to make my margaritas because they're absolutely delicious in my opinion in fact it's the best margarita in the world and i think you would agree if you tried it so anyway thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell and that way you get notifications every time i post a new video also bam it's right there right up there check me out on instagram um, I do a lot of photography stuff, take uh, photos of uh, a lot of sunsets. My wife and I love to take Florida uh, sunset pictures. I mean, who doesn't love a Florida sunset? <laughs> who? And uh, so a lot of photography stuff, uh, wildlife, uh, cooking. I do some cooking, believe it or not. As a matter of fact, today I'm going to be making a video on making a chocolate fudge cake. That's right, I'm going to do two videos in a row today. The reason why I made this one first is because I got my butter set now uh, to get soft to make the uh, chocolate buttercream frosting. That's right, so don't forget, don't, don't miss out on that video. If you love chocolate cake, you're going to want to watch that video and get yourself a gallon of milk because you're going to need it. All right, so anyway, check me out on Instagram, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you soon. I'm gonna go enjoy this margarita. I don't mean to be rude, but...